Welcome to the MSI channel where I try to resurrect an old MSI 8080 computer. Okay, uh, this is the little bubble bubble device, uh, three character bubble uh, display for like a calculator display and um, a little bit of reflection off of this. Let's turn off the lights. Powered up. There you go. So the uh, decimal point's interesting. It's kind of a triangular shape. And there is some other little slivers of LED. It's not it's not a simple segmentation of the LED, so some thought had gone into it to make it look uh, to make it look nice. So you don't have kind of square when you like create the number six, it's not kind of a square box, it's more roundy. Oh, that's interesting. And this is that little prototype, um, the hermetically sealed one that I think was only a prototype. Um, so if we can't turn it on. There we go. Interesting. Uh, this is a uh, probably too expensive because it was a very large piece of uh, gallium nitride, not gallium nitride, um, aluminum gallium phosphide or um, aluminum uh, gallium phosphide, uh, aluminum gallium phosphide, indium gallium. Anyway, there's a lot of kinds of uh, compounds that make up LEDs. Um, Semiconductors come from germanium or silicon. They have four valence electrons. Um, these have uh, the equivalent of four valence electrons, but they're made, instead of made of the, if you go to a periodic table and you look at the four column, you'll see uh, silicon and germanium in the four column. If you take a, uh, a three and a five and you build compounds using threes and fives, it kind of sums up to four. So these are what's known as 3-5 compounds. Um, so if you look at gallium and nitride, they're in 3 and a 5, uh, you know, and aluminum. Anyway, all those things are kind of in the 3s and 5s. You can also build things that glow out of 2 and 6 materials, like zinc selenide and uh, things like that. So uh, electroluminescent displays are 2-6 compounds, so these are 3-5. All right, so the, the final LED that will light up is uh, one of these matrix ones. Um, where we see uh, the LEDs individually. Uh, they're so bright under this magnification I'll have to uh, change the change the settings. You can see these are, oh, I well, guess not. There we go. Oh. Get one shot. So you can see these glowing and you can see the little uh, wire uh, bond wire and you can see the metalization on top of the LED to spread the current out. Okay, sorry for the shaky camera here, but I was too lazy to go get the tripod. Um, I just wanted to give you a kind of a clever little idea um, that I use all the time for testing LEDs. If I don't know something is called cath uh, a common cathode or common anode, I don't know what the wiring is and everything, um, I have this proto board where I have a, 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 a single inlight package LED uh, resistor pack and another resistor pack. So I've got pull up resistors on every single line. And then I just jam in the um, uh, LED. And then I've got a ground wire and I just go poking, oh there we go. I go poking around until one of the, one of the segments lights up. Um, so everything is resistor protected um, and it just allows me to not worry about finding a data sheet or other. I just poke around until I figure out where the uh, uh, where the cathode is and where the anodes are. So anyway, just an idea.